another topic. I know you're just like uh, so excited to hear <laughs> what is the next thing. It's Columbus. Oh, of course they did a video on Columbus. It's Columbus. So again, this is Leo and Layla, the time traveling kids, and they decided to go back in time and learn a history lesson from Columbus. From Columbus. I'm sorry, Mr. Columbus, but I heard at school that you spoiled paradise and you brought slavery and murder to peaceful people. Leo? <laughs> sorry. It's what I read and heard at school. Caramba! Those are some accusations. The place I discovered was beautiful, but it wasn't exactly a paradise of civilization, and the native people were far from peaceful. But you just said the Taino were peaceful. They pretty much are. But there are other tribes who aren't. The Taino I had met had cuts and scars and bruises all over them. I asked why, and they told me about the Caribs, who are vicious, warring cannibals. Cannibals? Like they- Eat people, see. Whoa. Right? Hey, all the things that are bad in the world I come from, jealousy, lying, murder, war, it all exists in the land I just found too. But in Europe, we draw the line at things like eating people and human sacrifice. Some of the native folks from where I just left do those things regularly. So, these people in your time who think it was a peaceful paradise are misinformed. Or lying. Yeah, but what about slavery? You didn't deny that. Deny? No. Slavery is as old as time and has taken place in every corner of the world even amongst the people I just left. Being taken as a slave is better than being killed, no? I don't see the problem. Well, in our time, we view slavery as being evil and terrible. Ah, magnifico, that's wonderful. I am glad humanity has reached such a time. But you said you're from 500 years in the future? How can you come here to the 15th century and judge me by your standards from the 21st century? For those in the future to look back and do this is, well, estupido. Are you calling me dumb? Certainly not. I can tell you're a very smart young lady, but the idea of throwing away the past because of your present values is, listen. I love and am thankful for the ancient Greeks, but they did lots of things that here in 1493 I do not agree with. They permitted lifestyles and worshiped gods that, as a Christian, I think is very bad. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't respect and honor all the incredible and amazing things they did. So good and bad is based on the time you live in? That is a great question. I told you I knew you were smart. Some things are clearly bad, no matter when they happen. But for other things, before you judge, you must ask yourself, what did the culture and society of the time treat as no big deal? Not everyone can time travel as you do and see how normal becomes very not normal. So who knew? Who knew that we would get content from Dennis Prager making the case for moral relativism? Yeah, no kidding. Normally, it's moral absolutism from Dennis Prager because he's a religious fundamentalist that believes God has determined what is inherently right and wrong. Yeah, oh yeah, very, very explicit about it. Yeah, but yeah. now suddenly we need to incorporate the cultural contexts yeah, yeah, in yeah. which people come from to determine what is right and wrong. Could it be a more problematic I mean, the only way to make that accent worse is like, a, I'm a punch you in the face. Uh, you know what I mean? He's like a, he's like a, the, like the Chef Boyardee guy in the, in the fifties in the commercials. Yeah. The accents are not strong. <laughs> not strong. Let me, let me just enlighten a few people who may not know a lot about uh, Christopher Columbus. Uh, we're going to time travel right now, now and meet him? Well, we're going to go back 16 years to a Guardian article. So yeah, a little oh, bit of okay. time travel. Um Christopher Columbus was known as a maniac and an a, abusive psycho by his own contemporaries. He was made governor of this Spanish colony and ended up in shackles brought back to Spain to face trial. He was brutal and monstrous, even by the people 
who were contemporary, like this idea that, oh, we look at him this way, but back then everybody, hubba de dub, oh, give me the D, oh, you got butter, watching it, eat it as a spaghetti. Wait, were you the one doing the voice? Were you paid <laughs> by Dennis Prager? Let me read a little bit from this article. Um, Lost document reveals Columbus as tyrant of the Caribbean. Christopher Columbus, the man credited with discovering the Americas, was a greedy and vindictive tyrant who saved some of the most violent punishments for his own followers, according to a document uncovered by Spanish historians. As governor and viceroy of the Indies, Columbus imposed iron discipline on the first Spanish colony in the Americas in what is now the Caribbean country of the Dominican Republic. Punishments included cutting off people's ears and noses, parading women naked through the streets, and selling them into slavery. And once again, before I read these final three paragraphs, these are not indigenous people. If he's treating his own, the people who share his culture and his heritage and his religion, if he's treating them like this, how in the fuck do you think he was treating what we commonly refer to as Indians or the indigenous? Mm -hmm. Columbus's government was characterized by a form of tyranny. Consuelo Varela, a Spanish historian who has seen the document, told journalists, one man caught stealing corn had his nose and ears cut off, was placed in shackles, and was then auctioned off as a slave. A woman who dared to suggest that Columbus was of lowly birth was punished by his brother Bartolome, who had also traveled to the Caribbean. She was stripped naked, the woman who accused him, or said this of him, was stripped naked and paraded around the colony on the back of a mule. Bartolome ordered that her tongue be cut out, said Miss Varela. Christopher congratulated him for defending the family. So, according to Dennis Prager and Prager U, a wonderful man. Oh, it's a no problem. But, you know, the, 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 the facts of history and the documentation that has been laboriously poured over by historians tells a different picture. In fact, like I said, he was arrested and brought back to Spain in shackles on a ship and fired from his job as governor and viceroy of the Indies. Well, and this was actually a, a prominent theme throughout the videos whenever slavery came up is that they would talk about, like you heard in this clip, that slavery is as old as time, it existed all over, and that it was just the way things were, and so how can you come back and judge us? And we've we've had conversations like this with people in, in recent months, and I think anytime you are talking about presidents, for example, this comes up sure. too, right? And the thing is, the um, enslaved people, they probably knew it was wrong. <laughs> right. There, there certainly was a faction who knew it was wrong. Listen, absolutely, the, the farther you go back in time, there's going to be a period where it just was the way. And the more modern you get, the less that excuse can be made. But that's not, there is no nuance here with the Dennis Prager curriculum that is now fully approved free from arrest or firing, excuse me, um, for teaching in elementary schools in Florida. Yeah, I also want to say that clip reminded me of my own indoctrination because I was raised by white supremacist parents. And um, I remember in fourth grade, my mom actually came to the school and demanded that I sit outside of the classroom during a lesson on Native people. And part of that was because when I got home, you know, we were told the quote unquote true history that the school wasn't teaching us right. about how violent the population was and how they scalped blonde women for their pretty blonde hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and right. um, I mean, of course, this little cartoon is less severe than that. But really, it's of the same spirit, I think. They're yeah, trying absolutely. to get at the same things, which is to justify horror yeah. by indoctrinating and telling kids lies.